Welcome. Yeah, I'm Francisco Lopez and I'm a resident of Ward 4. I'm a Latino immigrant uh, and I'm here to, you know, I can brag for the next 10 minutes about what my organization does, but that's not important. I can brag how important my church is, but that's not important. Let me tell you what is important. On August 10 of 2016, because of the climate created by the president-elect, two white supremacists in Gresham, Oregon, ran over a 19-year-old African-American man and killed him, and killed him with vengeance because of the words that came out from the mouth of the president-elect and elected officials. As Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, you know, and he almost said, I don't care really you love me. I, don't, I want you to not lynch in me. We don't want to be lynched. Mm -hmm. A week ago, some of us here had a meeting with Latino immigrant families. They, can, they don't want to send their kids to school because they get bullied because they are immigrants. We got phone calls from African-American members of this community saying, where do we go? What do we do? And I say, I don't know. Let's call Teresa from Don't Shoot Pork. And I don't know. There is a fear, but the fear is bigger than anything. Sometimes the words that come out of our mouths about people of color have bigger repercussions that we cannot imagine. And I will tell you, as a man of color, I cannot imagine anybody tell me, I know how you feel. You don't know how I feel. You don't know how I feel when I walk next to a big truck with the Confederate flag and the US flag in the streets of Salem. You don't know how I feel. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to know is, need to prevent that these things happen again. And put, you know, First Amendment, anybody can do that. But when a city employee or a city official make that kind of comments, it's like giving a blessing for people in the like white supremacists, to act on that. And that means this is an issue of not policy, this is an issue of life and death. That's what this is. So that's what I'm here today. The other is just academics and good speeches, but this is about somebody will get killed just because we refuse to have preventive measures that will prevent anybody from killing a black or a Latino, somebody from the LGBTQ community. That's what is happening. And I want to challenge you to do that. You know, I met with the family of Lornell Bruce. And, and I want to tell this to the council member, Nanki. Uh, What's up? Can you wrap up? Yeah, I'm about to okay. wrap up. They say, do you, I asked them, how do you feel about the white supremacists that killed your son? And she said, I don't hate them. I love them, but I love with the redemptive love. And that's what we want to say. Yes, he needs to redeem himself. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate your testimony.